Smith. <laughs> Hello there. Thank you for doing this 50 questions with oh, Alice Doke. I thought there were 72. Yeah, but we're doing a short version. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just start. Okay. Um, what was your first job? Ooh, my first job? This is fan. Oh, wow. I was a cocktail waitress. What's one Whoa, thing you I, I declined that. <laughs> I was, I worked. Oh, I was a cocktail waitress. That's true. What's one thing people don't know about you? I'm really shy. <laughs> Where, she's like, <laughs> Where did you grow up? I grew up in the exotic lands of Palo Alto. What's your favorite time of day? On any day? Yes. On a, on a school day, it's obviously eight when we start class. <laughs> Could you explain a story behind your gigantic stuffed zebra behind you? Good old Zelda? Yeah. That's, that's not her name. <laughs> um, it's, <laughs> This is my class motto, think like a zebra, because zebras don't get ulcers. They don't. They, they worry about what they got to worry about. They're just hanging out. They've got tags in their ears. Uh, and they're eating their, their grassland grasses. And, and then a lion comes, and they're like, ah! And they, they run. And then all of a sudden, they're like, where's Bob? I don't know. Hey, anyway, what's, why are you running? And they go back to eating. They're not going like, huh. All the time, like you people are going, I have a test, I have SATs, I have class. No, think like a zebra. Um, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Think like a zebra. What's the best <laughs> advice you'd give your teenage self? Think like a zebra. Uh, <laughs> it just applies to everything, it's amazing. Um, what's a book that everyone should read? You know the one about the tree? The Giving Tree! <laughs> the Giving Tree! Okay, what's your proudest moment as a teacher? My proudest moment? Yes. Just like a specific moment? Yes. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was a close up. <laughs> <laughs> you look at me uncomfortable. <laughs> my, proudest, my proudest moment. Oh, mm, mm. I would say when one of my students who was very new to this country. We were doing the pig dissection, and they were, like, had a very hard time asking questions in class or talking, uh, speaking out loud. Um, it was scary. I don't understand. I'm like, bow down to you who are learning a new language, and then learning science, which is a new language, in a new language. And we're doing the pig dissection, and, and the homeboy just ran me right through the whole thing. He's like, so here's where we have the intestines, and he walked me through all the different things that happen in the digestive system and the look on his face of pride. That was super cool. Could you explain why this skeleton over here has a cheese on his head? Good old Lester? Yes. Lester's my skeleton. Lester sometimes gets caught on things. So we call him Lester because he's slightly a molester. There's been times where he'll grab onto like a <laughs> pant loop and just walk with you. He's creepy. Uh, but he's also a diehard Packers fan, so he's a cheese head. Yes. Um, to the core! <laughs> she said, in your bones. And could you explain why you're a Packers fan? I don't know. I was born that way. Uh, they're the best team. They're owned by the people. I used to be a Niners fan, and then Joe Montana got hurt, and then their coach was like, well, we have to get a new quarterback. And then they were like, well, we don't need you anymore, Joe, not Montana. And I was like, what the hell? Just because he got hurt, you're just going to throw him, kick him to the curb? Which might be some, some sad feelings I have myself. Back when I was a kid, when I was hurt, my coach was like, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> so I was like, I will never, I will never be a Niners fan again. Um, okay, could you explain Did why? You some lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> could you explain? Mm, nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> why you love teaching physiology? Because it's everybody. You are a physiology, so there's no, there's no trouble in being like, this is how it relates to you, because this is you all day every day, and you have to live inside this body all day every day, and so the most important thing in life is life, and figuring out how to be happy, healthy, and like exist as you, but also exist as a community, and so I just feel like this class is the crux of, the crux of it all. If your life were a song, what would the title be? <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
I can only think of songs. Right now I have so what I like to dance, 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 dance. <laughs> 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 What's the weirdest word in the English language? Squeegee! If you could master <laughs> one instrument, what would it be? Master? Yeah. Ooh. You know the thing that's all like dented, but strategically dented? The <laughs> Is it like Caribbean music sounding? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your spirit animal? <laughs> I do like myself a ring-tailed lemur because they travel this way. <laughs> they don't walk. What's the best thing to happen to you today? Today? <laughs> well, I decided to go to Phil's this morning because it was a rough one. Um, I was like, I have migraine, but I'm going to beat this. And I went to Phil's and the, the lady there gave me some free beans. I was like, beans! <laughs> just love coffee. What's the best compliment? <laughs> What's the best compliment you've ever received? Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Um, <laughs> best compliment I've ever received that uh, I would I would oh man, that yearbook thing last year blew my mind. Um the heart, uh, saying that you have a heart of gold was just like, that's the only, the only thing that, that matters is I want people to feel loved. What's the scariest thing you've ever done? <laughs> the black word. <laughs> <laughs> the scariest? Yes. Uh, skydiving, maybe? Best dance move. Oh my god! <laughs> Can I? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Can I take a What's the best gift you've ever received? Oh, my puppy. Um, Who's 13? You... <laughs> 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 you no. You, you might... Your favorite memory with your dog. Oh, my favorite memory? Yeah. The first time she swam. She's a, a rescue and is afraid of anything that moves, including me sometimes. Uh, but like the wind blows and she'll, she'll panic. Um, but finally went to a lake that didn't have waves because those things are terrifying. When the water moves, you're like, what's that? Dream country to visit. Dream country to visit. Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to write your obituary? Oh. <laughs> um, for Monta Vista's service, because apparently there's going to be one here. Um, I'm going to say ha Hajarian knows oh, Mr. White and Hajarian. They would have to collaborate. Um, what three people living or dead would you like to eat dinner with? Living or dead? Yes. My Zadie, my grandpa. Um, oh, <laughs> you got heart rich. <laughs> <laughs> my so there's my Zadie, um, Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> and Messi. What are three things you can't live without? Dark chocolate, hoodie sweatshirts, and my dog. What was the superpower you would want? I would love to have my own soundtrack wherever I went because could you imagine you're walking along and just like the music plays? that fits you in that moment. So other people know where you're at, like maybe you're, maybe you're feeling jazzy and so you got some high beat. Maybe you're like, I just wanna be alone, welcome. Or maybe you're, you're thinking to yourself, I don't know what I feel like right now or what I need, but the right music plays and it just completes you. What would be the soundtrack right now? Uh, it would have to be some Latin beats or freeze. Because they both froze. <laughs> <laughs> something that fits this dance movie. Right, Jackie? I don't know, like the running man or something? <laughs> it's the running man! <laughs> anyway. Okay, what's something you love about the Bay Area? The Bay Area? We've got trees and we've got beaches and we've got good food and there's some great traffic and I love paying really high Housing. <laughs> 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 
Um, can you say something in another language? Hola, como estas? Um, do you like boba? No! <laughs> A skill I'm working on mastering? Yoga. That was yoga. <laughs> For those that needed a translation. Yoga. What's your favorite smell? <laughs> smell? Mm -hmm. I love so coffee will the smell of coffee will just make my make me smile. Or pine trees. Like when you first get up into the Tahoe and you like roll down the windows and all of a sudden you're like, oh that's happiness. What's your favorite place to eat? I have no idea. <laughs> Last question. What would you, what question would you ask your future self? Fake out. <laughs> <laughs> what question, I wasn't listening. What question would I <laughs> Yeah, ask your future self. Um, ooh, what question would I ask my future self? Yeah, you in 10 years. Me in 10 years. Um, did I make a, a difference at Mon Vista? Okay. This is my world at the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this interview with us. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and see.